Yo, yo, what's the deal? This is Six Beats here with the tutorial for the MacBook Pro that I received from Full Sail for my music production course, which is pretty awesome. Um, learned a lot of tricks, so I'm just gonna try to make this as fast as possible. I'm gonna run through all these commands. Um, the first set of commands are just basic keyboard commands, like you know, select all, quit, close window and focus, things like that. Command tab is to switch between programs. That's what that looks like. So if you hold command and you just keep pressing tab, um, you can scroll through those programs. So all right, I'll just jump to the second set of tricks. Okay. And I have a um, another tab open, and to open up a new tab, you can just press Command T. And the first command is to look up a selected word in the dictionary. Actually, you don't even have to select it. It's Control Command D. And whatever your cursor is over, it'll pop up a little dictionary, and all that info right there okay pretty awesome now the other one is command shift Y and this is to say for instance I want to you know copy this line right here into a sticky note command shift Y boom there it goes on a sticky note all right that is pretty fantastic so that's it for those safari tricks the next one is command shift plus the number three for a screenshot command shift four to screenshot a selected region now, command shift four now i have um this you know like cross here and i can select whatever region i want okay to screenshot and it'll automatically screenshot that region and boom here's the screenshot right here okay but there's a different way to do it instead of copying this particular region if you do the command shift 4 and then you press spacebar now you can select the whole window that is open whatever window you have open on that screen you can select that window take a snapshot and boom it takes a snapshot of just that program in that particular window okay um so that's command shift four to get to the crosshairs and then press spacebar to get the little camera okay if you press shift you hold shift and you press the volume buttons up and down it'll just silence the little beeping noise okay um Okay, I'm just gonna go over the important ones that I think are like extremely useful. All right, typing shortcuts. I guess you can review that when you check out this uh, this reference guide here. Okay, so I'll just go into the touchpad and navigation. Now, the touchpad and navigation. This is also pretty pretty cool. Okay, so. I have open system preferences with you know that little gear icon there and I go into trackpad this is the way I have it set up and I'll show you exactly all the tricks and kind of ways you can do things I'm um, having it set up like this so here it goes um, point and click everything is checked off scroll and zoom everything is checked off more gestures everything is checked off okay so x that out now you know how my trackpad settings are okay um to zoom okay all you have to do is take two fingers and spread them open or pinch and it'll zoom in and out okay two finger tap is like a right click menu so I'll uh, select that and I'll two finger tap and boom it'll you know give me that or I'll just do it on another screen two finger tap it'll give me that whole you know copy and all that there and two finger slide in any direction just basically scrolls around the screen okay so 
um, if the window was a little smaller okay you can move it you know like everywhere okay boom all right so that's that um okay now whoop, i just made a small but i don't think i cut up anything no okay perfect so slide in any direction three finger touch and select area so the way i'm selecting stuff i'm just taking three fingers and i'm highlighting it okay just slide it across with three fingers then that same text you can grab well sometimes it works sometimes it wants to be funny so i guess it's gonna be funny right now um sometimes you can grab the text and drag it to the desktop and i'll make like a text document instead of doing a sticky note um but yeah it, it's more of a pain if you do it that way i'd rather the sticky note because you can just you know like um you can't really exit out well well i guess you can but uh you can save the sticky note or discard it so i don't need it i'll just discard it and this i'll keep so i'll just close the sticky note tab i'll double tap and quit okay so now this is the cool stuff that uh that i found here which is the mission control now also just just one step back to move things around the same thing is three fingers okay just hold down three fingers and drag around all right uh let's see mission control okay so four fingers you slide up boom so that's four finger slide now that's not the mission control this is the mission control okay now on this screen okay um usually you'll have your program open that you have in this screen um i'll open one just for the sake of it all right a calculator and i'll do uh i'll do a, a liquid mac okay liquid mac i'm tilting well I'm tilting my uh, MacBook to the right and to the left. It's a pretty neat little thing, but anyway, it's it's not important. Like it doesn't really do anything for you, except you know visual entertainment. <laughs> so okay, you see how it separates the programs on this mission control. If I slide my four fingers up, it'll bring you to mission control. It'll show you the different uh, programs open, okay? You can actually move these programs by three finger selecting and dragging, okay? And then you can move it to that window. Okay, now it's on that window. Um, now, I'm gonna, I, to slide between screens, it's four fingers, okay? Um, if you... Yeah, so I have like that screen there, then I have this screen here. So that's four fingers sliding left and right, okay? So, okay, so that's the sliding. Um, oh, and another thing with the mission control is you can create up to, I think it's 18 desktops. I don't know why you would need that many, but just in case you had like 18 programs open, um, every time you open a program that's in full screen mode, it'll create a brand new desktop like that. And that particular program that's in full screen mode will take over that new desktop. Um, okay, another cool feature is this. I'm gonna open up another calculator. If it lets me, no, maybe not. Okay, so I'll open up another Microsoft Word over here. So boom, that's a project I was working on. All right, and boom, all right. So I have this. Now I'm gonna open up a new window, Command N, okay? And I'll open up another one. So I have three. So if I have three documents open on this, you know, anywhere, it could be on any desktop. Um, 
and I go and take four fingers and slide them down, it'll line up all the documents or all the windows you have open for that particular program side by side like this. Okay. So that's pretty awesome as well. And I am almost done. There's only like two or three more tricks um, or features, I should say. A pinch with three fingers and a thumb to show applications. So if you, if you pinch like this, it'll show you the applications. And if you spread the fingers back, it'll, you know, with the three fingers and the thumb, it'll bring you back to your desktop. Now, the very last one is uh, if you press F N, which is function, and F11, it'll clear your whole desktop. And you can see desktop and access anything on your desktop. Now, to do this, also, instead of using function F11, is you take um, three fingers and you spread it with your thumb and boom and then to bring it back you you pinch it with three fingers and your thumb all right so that's mission control that's like the desktop you know like little things um this program i i know you all see it and kind of looks like 3d ish uh so i'm gonna quit this all right now this program is called bump top they don't actually um, make it anymore it's discontinued but I found it on the internet somewhere so um, yeah it's basically like you know you have four walls and your floor okay you can you know have little sticky notes like that um, you can bring this window up you can change the backgrounds um, you know this here is like it'll open up all the programs that you have uh, you know you can like group them make piles it's called um, see it says break pile so that's you know a feature on that so it's called bump top if you can find it get it if you can't sorry um okay and that that along with a couple of other shortcuts that i wanted to show you well not shortcuts so much as uh again features okay so i'm just gonna go to my desktop um my music okay i'll just go to my music all right now this is a shared drive on my network okay um, you can actually drag folders and I'll show you let's see full zero okay I can drag this folder up here if I wanted to and create a shortcut right there okay to take that shortcut out right click that menu bar which is a double tap customize toolbar now you can just drag it out with three fingers done okay so you can also do the same thing over here all right um, you can organize them you can move them around I think that's extremely extremely useful and let's see the light below the programs is like the little indication that the program is open so if you want to close open programs like the calculator I don't need anymore you just you know double tap and quit and also this is extremely useful in my opinion so um, I'll show you this little icon or any little icon next to it could be Gmail you just grab this icon you can just drag it to this bar okay boom and it'll create that bookmark for you or you just drag the bookmark into a folder 
and it'll make a link to that website okay so just little tips and tricks I hope this uh, helped you out and makes you more productive and thanks for watching peace